All right, Shadow League pickup of the week. Let's start with one of my favorite junior hockey players I ever watched, Owen Tippett, a guy with a great shot. Owen Tippett, yes. Great goal scorer, major junior. He was, was it Mississauga that he played for? It was. Yes, yes. Look at me. I sound like Pierre Maguire. Um, <laughs> Owen Tippett, available in 54% of leagues. And last season, he was quietly pretty valuable. Had that stat profile similar to a Sam Bennett, Joel Erickson, where he does a little bit of everything with a good goal total. Had 27 goals, 232 shots, 125 hits. So very useful as a deep league or just depth uh, addition to your team and was available on the wire for a lot of people. This season, I think people were slow to wake up to him because he had that slow start, no goals, three points in his first six games. I think he got dropped in a lot of leagues, but last five games, five goals, seven points. So he's really caught fire. He's 82 game pace, 32 goals, 273 shots. So that's really useful. His hitting pace is down to 59, but I'm not worried about that. Every other season in his career, he has been more than a hit per game. So I think that's going to normalize. And his goal scoring pace continues to rise and he's just firing a lot of pucks on net playing on the second line at the moment. So I like him for even shallow leagues right now. You and Pierre Maguire have the same amount of hair. So <laughs> if I saw you guys together. I'd be confused who's who. Uh, the medium league pick up JJ Paterka out of Buffalo. Yes. JJ Paterka, one of the next wave of Germany players taking over the NHL, 81% available. And I actually liked him going into the season as a breakout pick. I know it's a crowded depth chart in Buffalo with all those young forwards, but I figured Benson and Lavoy long shot to stick with the team all year. We knew that Jack Quinn was hurt. So Paterka had a good chance to stick in the top six and very similarly to Dylan Cousins the previous season who broke out after he had some time the season before that at the World Championship, we know J.J. Paterka had a really good World Championship last spring, which often can be a harbinger of a breakout. And right now, playing on the second line, obviously, Tage Thompson is out. We're seeing Paterka on the top power play unit. He's got five, five goals, seven assists, 12 points in his past 11 games, shooting at 17%. So that's a pretty high number, but it's not unsustainable if you're a good shooter. And the main thing is, J.J. Paterka, this is part of his profile even before the season. He gets to the high danger areas, which means you're shooting high percentage shots that are more likely to go in because you're around the net. His shots per 60, high danger chances per 60, scoring chances, everything, all those metrics, five on five are blowing up for him. So what I'm seeing in his profile is something that looks pretty sustainable just because he is the type of player who can get to the I guess high percentage scoring areas would be the best term. So I, I like this breakout to continue. He had a great world championship for Germany, which I want to point out because, you know, the big topic right now about the World Cup of hockey being, you know, four teams and being split into two parts of the world. And uh, I feel like a team like Germany would be kind of disrespected not being involved in that because we've just seen the development. Uh, we, you know, if we look at 2014, like Dry Saddle wasn't around yet and, and Stutzla and Paterka, guys like that, Sider, like this is a, a country right now that means business when it comes to hockey, and that's a good thing for the Buffalo Sabres. The deep league pickup, I, I, I thought it was pretty funny when I saw it. I was like, oh, Martin Pops is so really? Okay, Calgary. Yes, and this is, again, yes, very deep league available in 98%, but this is more of a banger league alert, mm -hmm. okay? So he's playing on the second line, and he's bringing a lot of thunder. Uh this stat that I wrote down, it didn't include last night's play, but in his previous seven games, he had three goals, five points, 21 shots, 22 hits, doing a lot of things well. And we know that in Calgary right now, we talked about Connor Zary already on the show in a recent episode, they're kind of giving the keys to the kids and they're giving their younger players opportunities. So I think that we are going to see Pospisil con continue to get a, a, a bigger role, maybe not sticking in the top six all season but maybe at least in the top nine and he's just showing the ability to do a lot of little things they're going to help you in category leagues in deep leagues so i like him i added him in my own league and he actually was pretty helpful for me last week i think he was pretty instrumental in my matchup cool i like it in the wtf pickup of the week robert thomas out of st louis i think you know a lot of people looked at kind of the beginning of the season he wasn't so hot and maybe kind of just wrote him off but he's like come on there's too many people that could pick him up right now yeah, he's available in 41% of leagues, and he's a point-per-game player right now, 17 and 17 games, first-line center. You can't really leave a player like that on the waiver wire. It's just 
too productive, right? And I've someone I'm I've been very hard on Robert Thomas in terms of his fantasy value. Usually he's someone I don't touch because I think his stat profile is so empty. You get a lot of assists, a lot of points, no shots, no hits. But we're seeing a little change. So through his first 17 games, he actually had 40 shots on goal. That's 2.35 shots per game. His previous high was something like one and a half, not even close to that. So if Robert Thomas could continue to shoot the puck more, he's going to be getting more goals, more shots. And his stat profile suddenly doesn't look like empty calories anymore. That's a reason to value him much higher going forward if he can sustain that. Even if he doesn't, just the assist production, point production makes him useful in most leagues, at least for points. He shouldn't be on the wire in so many leagues.